welcome to Icebox Auto. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Wi-Fi and use your mobile phone as a hotspot and then ultimately we'll show you how to download the GPS maps. Uh, most units these days have Android. The benefits are is that you can download your own maps so you don't have to stick with these cheap Chinese alternatives that the suppliers tend to try and give you. Uh, these maps that the Chinese give you tend to be a little bit illegal and they can't be updated. Anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, first of all, we wish to show you how to set up your phone as a hotspot to connect to the internet. Uh, most Android units will have their own user interface, but normally they tend to have a cogwheel. On this one will be this one here. Now, obviously, we're in the settings of the units. This part here will show you the Wi-Fi section and this will show you the hubs. Now we always recommend that you use your cell phone, mobile phone, to access the hotspot. Don't use the one in the house and your car on the driveway because they tend not to be very reliable. First of all, show you on the iPhone settings. We would have the hotspot setting here, which we will switch to on. As you can see. Now, if your phone doesn't show up straight away, what the first thing we would do is switch it off and switch it back on again and attempt to do a new search. Here you'll see my phone at the top under Robert's iPhone. So we'll select on that one, <clears throat> put our password in, which is Icebox Auto. Done, connect, and then next minute you would see your phone. You get a blue bar across here on the iPhone, which says it's connecting, but it'll also give you the information here. So now there you go, connected. Next thing we'll do is go back out and go to the icon sections normally what you'll tend to find is you'll have a list of settings but you'll also have a play store icon which is this one here to a like a little bag shopping bag white one with a little arrow on there so for the purpose of the video we've set it up already um now because we've set it up already we haven't put the password in etc but yours will ask for an existing email address for the google play store and a password if you don't have an account go over to your pc go to www.googleplay.com Register an account, get the password, email address, and then refer back to here to enter the details. This is what you should see here. Now, to quicken things up, <clears throat> I've selected a map, which is basically free, very good to use, and quick to download. So basically, it's here. Now, the here maps are the old Nokia maps, basically, pretty much up to date. say old Nokia maps, but this is what the Nokia maps used to use. So here you go. Chosen the here maps. Show you on here, you can have a little read about it, do a little bit of research if you wish, but just to get you up and running, this is a really good map to use. So click on install and then accept. Now it's downloading. Depending on your connection speed on your phone, it should download pretty quickly. As you can see, a couple of seconds for mine. Now it's just configuring itself to the unit and it should be ready to use. We will also see a little arrow up here which basically says it's still downloading. As you can see, all up and done. Click on open. There we go, ready to use. Now you can have a little play around with that. You can also download other maps from the Google Play Store. Obviously look for maps, offline maps, GPS maps. Navi or keywords you can use or if you want to go direct to one that you prefer i.e. TomTom Garmin just type that in direct and all. Uh, there's some apps that use a data connection like Google Play so what that means basically you need your phone to be connected but all of the maps like here TomTom Garmin it's just a software so once it's downloaded it's ready to use and you don't need to have any data connection on your phone so you're not using the internet data package. Any questions get in touch thank you.